So what first inspired us to get the van was we pretty much just were watching YouTube videos one night and we discovered kind of the YouTube and Instagram world of hashtag van life and we decided that we should give that a try. We weren't very satisfied with our lives, working very long, hard days, and we wanted more adventure in our lives. We sold everything and started converting the van. It took us about six months, way longer than we expected, but we are very happy with how it turned out. Hi guys, I'm Maddie. This is my husband, Blackhawk, and we built this van for adventure and travel. Come take a look. So starting over here, we have this awesome pull-out table and it perfectly fits our grill on here. We also added an external propane hookup because our stove on the inside is propane, so we can just hook our grill up right here and we don't have to fuss with any of the propane hookups. We also added some 110 and 12 volt outlets out here just in case we ever want to hook up a speaker or whatever. Over here. We have a countertop extension that we added, but we also can pull it down to have a table for this chair. So if we're eating and we need extra space or office work, whatever, it's perfect. So this is our kitchen. We have a three burner stove and an oven in here. It is propane and it vents out the step well. Um, down here we just have extra storage and our propane tank is down here. We've also got some fancy toe kick drawers down here. They're perfect for pots and pans. We've got trash bags over here. You know, the usual things that you find in a kitchen. We've got all of our silverware, plates and bowls, pots and pans, all that kind of stuff in these. And they are all soft closed drawers. Um, over here, over here we have a trash can that tips out like so. So we never have little bags of trash hanging out anywhere. It all stays hidden away. Here we have a pretty big sink for such a small kitchen. It's perfect for us. We can usually fit about two days worth of dishes in here when we don't wanna do them and hide them away like so. Uh, the backsplash, we chose this fancy multi-textured hexagon tile. Uh, Blackhawk actually did that in a house that he was remodeling for somebody back when we were working full time and I fell in love with it, so that's what I chose. And to save on weight, we didn't use mortar, we just used a basic adhesive and we haven't had any issues, no cracking, none of that. Here we have all of our switches. So we've got ceiling, under cabinet, we have two sets of LEDs on the ceiling and the floor. We've got our water pump, our LEDs on the awning. And then over here, we have our 110 and 12 volt outlets. We've got two of each for convenience. And on the upper cabinets, we did this 45 degree angle because I'm very clumsy and accident prone and I didn't want to hit my head. So this is what Blackhawk designed for me and I love it. It was my choice to go with black cabinets. It took me about a year to convince Blackhawk that it was a good idea, but we're both really happy with how it turned out and how it accents the live edge countertop, which we actually made ourselves as well. So over here, we first have a big pantry. So this pulls out and we don't have anything in here right now, but we can fit a lot of food in there. Down here, we just have a little cabinet for our dog food. Over here, we have the full size bathroom. So we've got a shower in here, we've got our composting toilet, we just pull that out so that we have room in the shower. It's not as big a hassle as people think it is. And then our shower curtain comes out and then it extends so we have more room when we're showering. And then over here we have our microwave and this pulls out because we have more storage behind it. All we really put back there is popcorn though. Um, here we customized this cabinet for all of our electronics, all of our camera gear, computers. I have my crock pot in here, but I haven't used it in a long time. Down here we have our paper towels are hidden away and all of our electrical components down here, our fuses, our DC charger, all of that good stuff. And then through the bottom of this cabinet, we have access to our S-Bar diesel heater. So over here we put in dual swivels so that we had lots of seating and then we have this bench and table. So this comes out, there's more seating here, we can sit and eat here 
and this whole thing flips up and can store over there so we still have full access and use of both slider doors which keeps it feeling very open and big in here so over here we have our closet essentially these two drawers hold all of our clothes they come all the way out this way we don't have any shortage of space for our clothes and this one is our fridge and freezer so it pulls out just the same it is the dometic cfx 95 we've got our fridge here freezer there we can store about a week to 10 days worth of food depending and then this also functions as our step up into the bed so we put it on a latch so it won't fly out and then we put our step right there and climb up into bed so continuing on the uppers you can see that we did them in three tiers because obviously we could use more storage here and don't need headspace like we do in the kitchen in the doorway but up here on both ends we have just more clothes storage is what we use it for and then in the middle we have actually a hidden tv so this flips down and then our tv we can watch comfortably from the bed or we can pull it all the way out and watch from the kitchen and then we have more storage behind there all we have in there is our nintendo switch so we can play mario kart but that was Blackhawk's treat to me. He wanted a TV and I said, if you can hide it, we can have it. And he really blew me away with that. On this side, we have a bookshelf and two little nightstands. And all of the wood pieces in the van is all made from the same ambrosia maple. And we made all of it ourselves. Um, we used rebar for the railings and we've got quite an extensive book collection for someone living in such a tiny home. The bed is just shy of a queen size and we both sleep comfortably with ways and we haven't had any issues. We actually really like having the width ways bed. So we made some insulated window covers because we are from North Dakota. We know what it's like to be cold. We didn't ever want to be cold. So we made some insulated window covers and we have one for every single window and we've been able to keep it about 60 to 70 in both 95 degree weather and 10 degree weather. So we haven't had any issues. We also have a heated floor in the kitchen and the dining area, which has been really nice. That only takes about an hour to heat up. And then we have two fantastic fans, one in the bedroom and one above the kitchen. So that also helps with airflow. And then for the ceiling, we did a corrugated polyacrylic and painted it white. It saved weight because it's obviously very lightweight it's just plastic and we really like the design of it so up front here we got one big overhead cabinet this houses all the all of the insulated covers as well as the bug screens that we got everything all the upper cabinets have soft close hinges and then held up by gas struts it's nice because it kind of creates a suction when you close the cabinet so none of them are locked but none of none of them fly open on the under underside here, we got reading lights, we got power outlets for the laptops, and then up in the cab area, up on the outside of the van, we have LED lights on the front, sides, and rear, so we have all the controls for there. We got two swivel seats. This is our main living area. We really love sitting here, eating dinner, watching TV, and then just a normal Ford Transit. It, it is the XLT, so it's got the nav, touch screen, as many doohickeys as you can have in a cargo van. So we started with a 2016 Ford Transit cargo van, had no windows. This has got the 3.2 liter power stroke in it. We love the thing. It gets about 15 to 17 miles per gallon if you got a wind behind you. What we started with was getting some massive off-road bumpers on it, give it a little girth. These are the LED lights that we're talking about on the inside. We got two up here, four up top, three on each side, and then some in the back. So sticking with the black theme, we had to stick some black rhinos on there. We also went with a Transforce tire. One of the big problems is when people pick the BF Goodrich, the carrying capacity on a tire like that is 25, 2600 pounds. The Transforce, it's got the heaviest carrying capacity at 35, almost 3600 pounds. That way, once we stick all of the gear and water in the back of the van, I'm not too worried about something happening. 
one of the last minute items we had to add on the van is after working on the thing all summer and stepping up a foot and a half to get inside the van, we finally realized that if we stick a step on there, it's going to make life a lot easier. So it's just a cheap RV step off Amazon you can get and it bolts right up to the frame. So when we got it, it was a straight cargo van. So we got all these windows. These are from Motion Window. They're great. It's not as intimidating as you think. Just measure twice so you only can cut once. And then back here, we have our shore power hookup. It is a 20 volt, 20 amp plug. That way we can just carry a normal extension cord with us and not a big 30 amp cord. Here is our water fill, gravity, and then the pressurized city system. And then the, our favorite feature that we thought we didn't really need is our Fiamma awning. It is perfect for those sunny days in the desert. So on the back here, we had to stick the aluminum storage boxes on. That way we can hold some jerry cans. This is diesel for the van, extra water, gasoline. We love these things because I can bring all my tools to fix whatever we need to on the road and keeps it out of the living space. A lot of extra storage, worth the money. So a nice thing about the boxes is they swing out on the aluminum bumper. Each box can hold about 250 pounds, so we've never loaded it up that much, but it gives you the option to really bring along whatever you need. Back here, this is one of the big things that we needed was a garage space. We were able to fit mountain bikes back here, paddle boards, all of the good stuff. On this side is our battery bank. It's got 600 amp hours of lithium batteries. Sitting in the back there is our 3000 watt inverter charger. On this side, we have a 32 gallon freshwater tank with our four gallon water heater and then a two gallon pressure tank behind that. So once we get all filled up and go out into the national forest land, we got about 38 gallons of fresh water and that'll last us about a week, week and a half. So the awesome feature on this fan that my wife just had to have is the dual sliding doors. Now it might not seem like a big deal, but when you roll up into a campsite and you got some unruly neighbors on that side, we can just close that van, that side of the van off, open up this door, don't have to deal with them. So if you're thinking about, you know, tiny living, if you think a van is up your alley, we never even stepped foot inside a van conversion before we built this. So we're very proud of what we created and how much we love it. Uh, but highly recommend, you know, renting one out, trying, giving it a shot, you know, and do a lot of research and explore your options, find better ideas, and be very honest with yourself about the comforts that you need, whether that's a TV, an oven, a toilet, you know, there's so many different options for how you can build a van. And it doesn't matter how you do it. If you want to sell everything, drop everything, hop in a van with a mattress and go explore, or if you want to take two years and save up and plan everything out, however you want to do it, it's up to you. It's your van life. Yep, and you know, if you put your life out on the internet, you're going to get slack for it, but just keep doing you. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. We have a YouTube channel of our own and Instagram. We are at Keeping Up With The Jones. And also this van is for sale. If you're interested, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. Catch you later.